YouTubers, this is the John Four Connect Show. The dreams are coming wild and still. The dreams are coming in. The thief of a love collides a kill. The night can now begin. Hey, YouTubers, John Four Connect here. I know it's been a while since I've done one of these way too long actually so I figured I'd make a video about something that's sort of near and dear to my heart right now and that is a philosophical question for you all now I want to put in a disclaimer because there are many of you that are probably going to call me an anarchist or a socialist leftist or a pinko kami scum or well, a lot of other nasty names just because I'm going against the grain of thought of most people here. And I'm none of those things. I'm a philosophical thinker and that means I like to push the boundaries of what my thoughts are on things. And I like to push the boundaries of what I'm capable of imagining. That being said, this is a hypothetical and yet serious question for you all. The question is, why as a society do we need money? Now I know a lot of you are probably like, whoa, wait, you can't ask that. Yes, I can. I'm asking, why do we as a society need money? Now, I want you to think about something for a minute. Before money, which we have the Romans to thank for, to the best of my knowledge, there was barter and trade. Now, it wasn't an easy system to survive on, or thrive on for that matter, but you could do both. If you had a set of skills, or many sets of skills, then you could could do very well off. I mean, for example, I knit. I know how to make gunpowder. I know how to make bullets, or cast bullets, rather. I know how to design things mechanically. I can't necessarily build them, but I can tell you how to build them. Um, I can knit, I can sew, I can make things. So a person like me would be important, you know, I'd be able to do things. Other people who necessarily couldn't do those sort of things could be taught. They could be taught and they could do it well. And they could survive and thrive. The barter system could work. Well, then you tell me, well, what about the governments and the armies and all that? They could still tax. People could be taught how to farm, how to hunt, how to fish, all that stuff. How to process their food, how to make it safe for consumption. There are ways without pasteurization. In fact, with milk, if you pasteurize it, you take a lot of the important nutrients out anyways. But these people, you know, people could be taught to do these things. The government could tax them crop share, they could tax them a meat store, they could tax them fish, they could tax them any manner of produce that they could make. Yes, it would be difficult. Yes, the government would have to get creative about how it did things, but you would eliminate a lot of problems. For example, if we switch to a barter system would eliminate the homeless problem. Banks would no longer be able to just pay people. Well, banks would be obsolete unless, you know, they re-outfitted their facilities to store people's goods. Um, but banks wouldn't be able to charge people at the wazoo for a house, and they would no longer be able to charge people or pay people out the wazoo to maintain those houses, not that they do. So the homeless, for example, could be 
enlisted to maintain the yards, fix the houses, keep them well presented, you know, and those people who are no longer homeless could serve as a means for the banks to have some form of store to offset the cost of, of storing people's stuff for them. Sorry, my cat just clawed me. So, again, why do we need money? Or another question is, what would be your model for a moneyless society? Now, I will tell you flat out that if you make a video that basically preaches anarchy and destruction and, and chaos and badness and let the fittest survive, I will shoot that down right away. That's not what this is about. This is about why do we as a society need money? And what are alternatives to money? And don't tell me there are no alternatives to money. That is not an acceptable answer either. Or if there, if that is an acceptable answer to you, tell me why. I challenge you, if you say that money is the only way, explain why. In a way that doesn't sound like money is the only way to show you're of any worth. Because, you know, the class warfare thing is a big problem in this country. And the world... I'm not saying that it would not be difficult by any means of the imagination. It would be difficult and a lot of people would fall on very hard times in the attempt to adjust to the new system. So I challenge you all, why do we as a society need, a, need money? Why does it make us important? I will be making another video in a minute or two here to gather my thoughts that will explain what somebody could do. It will follow, let's call him Joe Schmo, uh, through the chain of events that the barter system would do. Alright, so I'll edit this one up so it looks good and I'll post it on YouTube and then... I'll get started on the next one. Um, and I think this may be a series about why do we need money. And we'll call it the Why Do We Need Money show. So, for now, blessed be. Leave comments there. Uh, leave your videos there. This is going to be an open response. I will remove videos if they're abusive after the fact. Um, rate, thumbs up, thumbs down, I really don't care, just make your opinion know. Uh, and if you have any ideas for future shows, contact me. Peace. She loved you better, could you let her? She's banished back to the dreaming, just forget her. Out with the hungry. In with a burn The lesson is learned You both play the victim